Gary Peterson here. Today I'm going to show you an exercise which you can do if you can get any form of a setup just roughly like this. Now if you haven't got two spaces or two walls, look at this one here, so the ball just comes back to me, so it doesn't run away. If you had somebody else here catching the ball, and they could throw the ball back in again, that's terrific. That would be perfect for you. So there's no problems. I'm just here by myself, so as a part of my wife who's working from home and all the rest of it as well is inside. But um, So I'm going to show you, I'm going to use this system here to actually return the ball to me. That's all this one's doing. Um, we're going to call, this is fast hands. There's three exercises in fast hands that I'm going to give you today. This is seriously good, and I think this is really good for even elite level players. It's very good for absolute beginner players right through to elite level players. But you'll understand once I show you what it is. We're going to start with a drop and then a drive. So if I go from here, play a drop, and then I drive. I'll flick the ball up, drop, and drive. Whoop. Flick the ball up and drive. So then I go there, drop, drive. Okay, the reason this works so well is because you don't have time. It looks really, really simple, but I've done this a fair bit. So you need to understand that anybody who hasn't done this sort of an exercise before will find it really, really difficult because they don't have any time for preparation. So if I drop, there and then go around, I can do it really easy because I have my racket back really early, but most people will go there, they will drop, then all of a sudden they'll be trying to hit the ball and it'll be really difficult for them. So if you can actually do a little bit of this, it's seriously, seriously good. So that's the first exercise, one drop to yourself and then you drive. So the second exercise, it's a drop, a boast, a little cross court and then a drive. So I'll go from here to drop, a boast, a little cross and then a drive. Drop, little boast, little cross court, and drive. A drop, little boast, little cross court, and drive. Okay, so that's your second exercise. Your third exercise, I'll show you here. Um, I'm going to play a little drop. So it's a drop, it's up, down, and then the drive. We're just going to watch where the ball goes here, there. So it's a little drop, up, cut down and a drive, and I lost the ball. I've got to watch it because my driveway slopes all the way down there and then over the road, so if the ball goes that way, I've really got to scamper for it, but that's all good fun and everything as well. So if you get used to that, you can do some really good things with it. So from here, it will be a drop, an up, a cut down, and a drive. So there, so it's a drop, up, cut down, and drive. Again, drop, up, cut down, and drive. So there you go, there are your three exercises and it's really, really fantastic. Then if you put two of those together, and I'll show you with this ball, if you put two of those together, so it's one drop, one boast, one cross, one up, one down, and a drive. One drop, one boast, one cross, one up, one down, and a drive. There you go, have fun with that, you'll love it.